President Joe Biden claimed there was an absolute wall between his official government duties and his family's influence peddling schemes. This was a lie. President Joe Biden claimed his family didn't receive money from China. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. This was a lie. President Joe Biden claimed he never spoke to his son, Hunter Biden, about the Biden's family's shady business dealings. I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business yes, dealings? Yes, I stand by that statement. This was a lie. Now, Hunter Biden's legal team and the White House's media allies claim Hunter's corporate entities never made payments directly to Joe Biden. We can officially add this latest talking point to the list of lies. Today, the House Oversight Committee is releasing subpoenaed bank records that show Hunter Biden's business entity, a Wasco PC, made direct monthly payments to Joe Biden. This wasn't a payment from Hunter Biden's personal account but an account for his corporation that received payments from China and other shady corners of the world. At this moment, Hunter Biden is under an investigation by the Department of Justice for using a Wasco PC for tax evasion and other serious crimes. And based on whistleblower testimony, we know the Justice Department made a concerted effort to prevent investigators from asking questions about Joe Biden. I wonder why. The more we learn, it appears the Justice Department was trying to cover up for the Bidens until brave IRS whistleblowers came forward and a federal judge rejected the sweetheart plea deal. IRS whistleblower Gary Shapley spoke to congressional investigators in May. He said IRS investigators recommended charges for tax evasion, filing a false tax return for the tax years 2014, 2018, and 2019, all felonies, plus charges for failure to file or pay several years. Those are misdemeanors. A conviction on these charges could bring hefty fines and up to five years in prison. But the plea deal filed this week by the Trump-appointed U.S. attorney David Weiss said the president's son agreed to enter guilty pleas for two misdemeanor tax charges. As part of the deal, Biden will avoid full prosecution on a separate gun charge. Shapley also alleged there was a recovered 2017 WhatsApp message from Hunter Biden to a Chinese businessman over an outstanding payment stating, quote, I am sitting here with my father. We would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Hunter Biden allegedly texted, according to the transcript, I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand. And now means tonight. Payments from Hunter's business entity to Joe Biden are now part of a pattern revealing Joe Biden knew about, participated in, and benefited from his family's influence peddling schemes. When Joe Biden was vice president, he spoke by phone, attended dinners, and had coffee with his son's foreign business associates. He allowed his son to catch a ride on Air Force Two at least a dozen times to sell the Biden brand around the world. Hunter Biden requested office keys to be made for his office mate, Joe Biden, in space he planned to share with a Chinese energy company. We've revealed how Joe Biden received checks from his family that were funded by the Biden's influence peddling schemes with China, no less. The House Oversight Committee continues to investigate Joe Biden's involvement in his family's domestic and international business schemes at a rapid pace. We will continue to uncover the facts and provide transparency about the findings of our investigation. Beverly Hilton, where are you staying? Okay, 10 tonight. We'll see you at the Beverly Hilton. Let me know if anything changes. Then later that night, I let him know I'm on my way. I'm here, are you guys in the bar? The meeting lasted 45 minutes. So I literally haven't been back here uh, since I actually met with uh, the Bidens and Joe walked across through the lobby with his security detail. Hunter, Jim and I were already sitting here sort of positioned behind this column. They've redone some of the bar. After the meeting at the Hilton, Bob Alinsky and Jim Biden crossed the street to meet at the Peninsula Hotel. I basically spent two hours with Jim and I was very concerned about how they were doing this. And after I walked through my concerns, I just distinctly remember, you know, Jim looking at me and getting a smirk on his face and, uh, you know, like a slight chuckle and just saying, you know, plausible deniability. Those two words clearly define how the, uh, 
Bidens operate uh, how they do business. A few weeks later, on May 13th, 2017, Gillier sent an email explaining each partner's share of the new company. Quote, the equity will be distributed as follows. 20 for H, meaning Hunter. 20 for RW, meaning Rob Walker. 20 for JG, meaning James Gillier. 20 for TB, Bob Alinsky. 10 for JB, Jim Biden. And 10 held by H for the big guy. Who could the big guy be? If it isn't Joe Biden, I would love to debate that with anybody. Another email sent the same day was called Expectations. In it, Gillier laid out salaries for all the partners. Hunter and Bob Alinsky were both set to make 850000 Three days later, an infuriated Hunter wrote this. I will need a hell of a lot more than eight fifty dollars per year on a month basis. And this is my own personal problem, but I'll make it yours also, I'm sure. Ha. Ah. Bob Alinsky responded. H, we have to pay a team of people who'll be working 100 hours a week. To which Hunter responded, Tony, they are both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens. He has implied that the number one has made that clear and available to him. According to Bob Alinsky, number one is a clear reference to Chinese President Xi Jinping. When I saw Adam Schiff go on record talking about Russian disinformation after this email had been posted online by the New York Post. And remember, that email was to me from James Gillier, right? It wasn't, you know, I wasn't blind carboned or CC'd on that. It was to me stating that I was going to be the CEO of this enterprise. Um, I had, uh, I was at the end of my rope. And so I called Rob Walker and I told him that if that statement isn't retracted by Adam, or, uh, Congressman Schiff by midnight on Sunday, that I was going on record and I was disclosing all the facts to the American government, to the American citizen, and the world. If he doesn't come out on record, I am uh, providing the facts. Tony, you're just going to just bury all of us, man. Here is a text message you received from Hunter Biden to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact that we are in an impasse of sorts and both James's lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania on Tuesday next week. And so you're hearing reporters say that chairman was, in fact, the Chinese government. Here you have Rob Walker responding to you. Clearly, there's some confusion over this. And he's saying, and I'm going to put this on the screen now. When he said, when Hunter Biden said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Correct. There's two chairmen in the story. There's Chairman Yi, who is the chairman of CFC. Yes. In that text from Hunter Biden, he was not talking about the chairman of CFC. And what Hunter's referencing there is he spoke with his father, and his father is giving an emphatic no to the ask that I had, which was putting proper governance in place around Oneida Holdings. So Joe Biden is vetoing your plan for putting stricter governance in the company. I mean, and, and it's, it's right here in the emails. Yeah, yeah, Tucker, I want to be very careful in front of the American people. That is not me writing that. That is not me claiming that. That is Hunter Biden writing on his own phone, typing in that I spoke with my chairman, referencing his father. If the world thinks that that my chairman is not his father, then Hunter Biden would come forward and go on record and state to the world. But you my... have the Biden family representatives, Rob Walker, saying right here, May 19th, no. When he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Exactly. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period.